Hi, and welcome back to Ham 101. I'm Herb NZ CRF, and Ham 101 is the video series uh, designed to help new hams get connected into the hobby. Uh, today, we're going to talk about signal irregularities, if you will, um, and primarily we're going to talk about weak signals and doubling, and we're going to define what that means, uh, and then give you some audio examples of how you can tell the difference. Uh, a lot of times when you go to check into a net, uh, or, uh, or uh, get on the air with somebody, uh, they'll come back and say, hey, you doubled with somebody, or your signal's weak, I can't understand you, things like that. So, first of all, what's the difference, and why do we care? And, and then we're going to give you some audio examples so you can kind of tell the difference if you're listening um, to, to others talk, and you can provide some feedback to them on that. So, um, the, the first thing to understand is that uh, frequency modulated propagation, which is transmission, which is what our radios use in, in amateur radio, um, has what's called a capture effect. And what that means is that an FM receiver will tend to capture the strongest signal and demodulate that and ignore the weaker signals. Now, that's well and good in that that lets you, allows you to differentiate between a strong close by signal and a weak far away signal. Uh, but if both signals are about the same strength, then weird things happen. So two things happen, and, and we can give you audio examples of both of those. But this is when two people or more are transmitting at the same time, and they have approximately the same signal strength into the repeater. That's what's called a double. Um, and you will hear that in a couple different ways. There's a couple different telltale signs you can tell from that. Uh, the first is that you may get a little bit of each station. The capture effect will work to capture one station, and then the other one for, will become just slightly, slightly stronger, and it'll capture the other. So you'll bounce back and forth between two stations. And that sounds a little like this. The second thing you may hear, and you may hear both of these in the same situation, uh, is what we call heterodyning. It's a buzz, and what that is is a mixture of two frequencies or two, two transmissions that causes the creation of this buzz, which is another frequency altogether. So it's a mixing or an addition or a, or a multiplication of the frequencies that creates this kind of audio buzz, uh, and that's also a sign of doubling, and that sounds kind of like this. AB, zero AB, Mobile, Jamie. And so that's, that's doubling, and the only way to solve that is to ask somebody to retransmit. So if you're checking into a net and that control comes back to you and says, hey, you doubled with somebody, or I heard a double and he didn't recognize your call sign or didn't hear you, uh, then the only thing you can do is just transmit again. It's nothing that you did wrong, it's just what happens from time to time. When we're checking into nets, uh, people are all trying to check in at the same time and you will inevitably get, inevitably get doubles. And so uh, that's okay. What you need to do is just be patient. Don't get flustered by that. It's a normal part of the ham radio experience. It happens every day. Uh, and you just need to back up, uh, maybe pause a little bit before you check, before you, uh, before you key your mic, um, and then check in again. And hopefully you'll be recognized that time. It's not uncommon for doubles to happen two or three times in a row because uh, everybody kind of gets in the same rhythm uh, and they start doubling each other and they just can't seem to sort it out sometimes. So a good net controller will be patient and help you work through that. Uh, the second thing that you'll get back from occasional, uh, occasionally uh, when you check into a net or when you're trying to talk to somebody is they'll tell you they just can't understand you or you have a weak signal or you're scratchy uh, or you're picket fencing or things like that. That's an indication that your signal just isn't very strong, um, and that typically would sound something like this. Now, that we had a hard time understanding that station, uh, but it's not because they were doubling with somebody, it's because their signal was just not strong enough. So as a net controller, hopefully that net controller can differentiate between what he's hearing uh, whether it was a double or whether it was just a weak signal and provide you the feedback you need to correct that. If it's a weak signal, then you need to either change your position if you're on a handheld, you need to turn up your power, you need to get to a better place to be able to transmit to that particular repeater. So those are the things that you just need to know uh, because you don't hear those things generally. If you're the one being affected by it, you're not hearing it and you're relying on the feedback from others to tell you what that means. So uh, again, this is what doubling sounds like. The second part of doubling, or the second thing that can happen as part of doubling, is this heterodyning buzz, and that's what here's what this sounds like. AB zero AB, 
remember to listen for that buzz. And then the third thing is just weak signal. If you've got a weak signal and you're having a hard time getting into the repeater, it's going to sound a little like this. So I hope that helps you understand a little bit about coming to the, some of the signal irregularities that you may run into in ham radio. Uh, and again, you know, do what you can to improve your signal. We've talked about that uh, in a couple past in, uh, past episodes. Uh, but once you've done all that, you know, there's, there's a limit to what you can do. But do what you can to improve your signal. Uh, and if you're told that you're doubling with somebody, just back out for a second and try to change your timing and things like that and let net control resolve that situation for you. So um, I think that's all I've got on this topic. I hope you enjoyed this, uh, this short video on, uh, on signal irregularities. And I uh, hope you get some in enjoyment out of that and, and that'll help you in your... Uh, in your uh, ham life going forward. So until next time, uh, this is Herb, NZ0F73.